It was the largest serial killing in this country's history up until John Wayne Gacy appeared. From 1970 through 1973, Elmer Wayne Henley and David Brooks lured 28 teenage boys to a Pasadena home belonging to Dean Coral, a.k.a. the Candyman. Henley directly himself said he was responsible for at least six deaths, but he's indirectly responsible for over 25 because he knowingly took boys, he took people he knew, and he got them to go over to the candy man's house knowing full well they would never see they would never walk out those doors again what happened to the 28 boys shocked the world it was one of the most horrific deaths that you could wouldn't even imagine upon your worst nightmare they were sexually tortured they were strapped to boards they suffered tremendously Parole officials can't be specific about Elmer Wayne Henley's current state, but according to the guidelines of compassionate release, he's terminally ill or requires long-term care. The parents of 13-year-old Stanton Dramella have asked crime victims advocate Andy Kahn to fight Henley's release from prison. And I have been with this family now going on for over 30-some-odd years, and there's not a day that goes by where they don't think of their 13-year-old son who was just simply riding his bike in the neighborhood uh, collecting soda bottles so he could turn them in for money to take a girl out to a movie. Elmer Wayne Henley is serving six life sentences. The bottom line is Elmer Wayne Henley hasn't even served two years for every young boy that he is credited and responsible for killing.